Today, my friends, we're doing tomahawk steaks. These guys are from Hoagland Meat out of southwestern Idaho. Literally some of the best beef in the United States, in my opinion. It's right on that Snake River Valley, which is famous for beef. Now, tomahawks are a seriously crowd-pleasing steak. They're tender, juicy, and they just have this really cool look to them with the bones sticking out. Also, they're kind of pricey, meaning you don't really want to mess it up. So to make sure this process is extremely foolproof, I'm busting out the Chef's Temp Pro Template Thermometer, which I love for a lot of reasons. Number one, I don't have to open the cooker and let out all that heat while I'm checking on the temperature, which is great. It can just keep on cooking. Number two, I can check it from absolutely anywhere because it's connected to my home Wi-Fi, meaning these flies, gosh, meaning I don't have to be within range and I'm not gonna lose connection. That can be really frustrating when you're just trying to check on the temperature. And also it just comes with an app that just works, which is so nice. Now, I'm gonna start using some Killer Hogs all-purpose seasoning, which I use on everything. It's super flavorful without being overkill on the salt, so I feel good using it on these steaks. For one steak, I'm only gonna use this rub, making sure to get the back sides, and even rolling the steak and the seasoning that fell off, just to make sure every square inch is seasoned. And for the other tomahawk, I'm trying a mixture of Traeger's coffee rub and the beef rub from Terry Black's Barbecue in Texas. It's a nice peppery, savory, coffee-y combination without being overkill on that coffee flavor. Now, this is optional, but I cover the bones in foil just so that they don't burn. Makes that presentation real nice. We'll take our ProTemp Plus thermometer probe and insert it into the thickest part of the meat, not touching any bone, with a one centimeter gap sticking out to make sure that we get a solid connection. Starting by smoking these low on the Traeger at 275, just to let them absorb some nice smoke flavor before searing them off on the gas grill to get the crust. However, you could use anything to sear these. It doesn't have to be a gas grill. You could use a cast iron pan, a griddle. You can even broil them in your oven if you wanted. Or if you just have a pellet grill, say, you could pull them off, let them rest under foil while you crank that pellet grill on high, and then sear them off on there as well. I've done that too. So once we reach about 100 degrees internal, I'm going to have my gas grill nice and hot, ready to go, and I'm gonna put the steaks on there, being sure to press them into the grill grates so that we get solid, direct contact, and bold grill marks. After two minutes or so, I would say I'm turning them 45 degrees to get the grill marks facing the other direction. This whole method of searing is not essential at all, but we all know that those grill marks get you bonus points for presentation keeping my ProTemp Plus housing unit close by so I can monitor the temperature while they're cooking. They're gonna cook really fast on the gas grill and you can pull them off at whatever temperature you like. Just know that they will rise about five degrees after you pull them off the grill. This is normal. So if you like medium rare, I would pull them off at like 130 and they'll max out at around 135 on the counter. You could go a little less if you like that. My family honestly likes closer to medium, medium well sometimes. So I wait a little longer for mine to cook, but just cook your steak however you like it. So medium to medium rare is preferred by a lot of people, including myself, but that doesn't mean that you have to like it that way. I'm going to do the same searing on both sides and even getting the edges into the flames a little bit, just because I like that crust. And boom, just look at that beautiful show-stopping steak. This is perfect for like date night in. As you can see, it's incredibly juicy. And I even love it with some grilled carrots on the side. It's just this nice, hearty, kind of romantic meal. All right, thanks for watching, my friends. Peace.